And welcome back everyone to Knights in Development. And in this tutorial, we're making a highly requested throwing knife system. It's fully customizable for range, damage, speed, and more. I provide you guys with this amazing free view model so you don't have to make that part. I give you guys all of the code so you can just simply copy and paste it. And then all you have to do is just make a simple throwing animation and you will have this amazing throwing knife. If you have any problems or concerns, you can always comment down below or ask in my Discord server, and me or one of my trusted moderators will be happy to help you out. This is a super useful tutorial for any FPS or battle game. It's super easy, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let's get into the video. And we're gonna go ahead and start off by just simply opening a brand new base plate, just because I want you guys to see that I'm doing this from scratch, and everything is on video, so if you don't get it right, just rewatch the video, do it again. So, open a new base plate, go to File, Save to Roblox, name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it something like Throwing Knife. Amazing. And I usually don't change any of these settings, just click Save. There you go, it just takes a second to load. And it opens up. Now you need a view model, you need some code, and then you need some animations. And two of those I actually provide for you. So in the description below this video, you're going to click a link to my Discord server. And under the downloadable files tab in the throwing knife channel, you're going to see two of these downloadable files and two scripts. Click download on both of these, not the scripts, just these two. Go back to your game, open up your files, take the two you just downloaded, and just drop them in. As you can see, you have four uh, events, module, sound, view models appear, and then this little HUD menu. So now, you're going to take the HUD, put it where you see starter GUI, and then these four, you're going to put into replicated storage. And then actually, you're going to go down to view models folder, open this up. And as you can see, you have a throwing knife here. Go ahead and click, just duplicate it. Take one of these and put it into the workspace. And as you can see, you have this little view model appear. I would put it somewhere like right here, just so you can see it better. If you want to actually learn how to make this view model or a similar view model, just watch this video I did before and it will walk through the whole like making and rigging. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to provide it for you because I'm just doing the system, not the view model. Okay, now you're going to quickly go back to the Discord server. And as you can see, two codes. You're going to start off with the top one. You're going to copy the name except the dot .lua part. So copy that. And as you can see, this is the server code. So go to where you see server script service, click the little plus sign and then add a script. And then you're going to rename this throwing knife server code. Right. Now you're going to go back to the server, view whole file, and then you're just going to go from top to bottom copy the whole script, make sure you, you get those bottom ones, sometimes they don't select, make sure you get the whole thing, copy it, go back to the game, and then just paste it in, there you go. It should be about 124 lines. Now we're going to do the second one, you're going to just repeat the process, copy the name, go to the game, and then where you see starter player you're going to open that up and then you see starter character scripts right here click the little plus icon local script and then just paste in the name and now go back to the script once again view the whole thing copy it go back to the game and just paste that in and as you can see, this one is actually about 577 lines. Okay. Now that we're done with that, 
I just want to quickly bring up one thing in the replicated storage. If you go to the modules folder, you can also open this up. And these are the settings for your knife. And we're going to talk about these a little bit later. Now we imported everything that we needed. And then if we actually play this, you should see a view model appear. You might have some error codes on the bottom saying animation error. So even if you don't see the view model, don't be scared. It's just because it's not animated yet since I can't share animations with you because that's what just Roblox does. And now finally, we're just going to make a simple throwing animation for our view model. We're going to click the avatar tab, select animation editor. You should see a huge window pop up. You're going to select your um, view model and you should see its name appear right here. I'm going to rename this into something like throw anim since that's what we're doing. And then I'm going to click the little plus icon, select add all body. And this should just add every single component of our view model. As you can see, there's a knife itself. There's all the arms and then a bunch of other stuff. So you're going to start off by first moving this line two dashes forward. And then this will just basically save the original pose as the first frame. Now you're going to go ahead, click right arm, hold control on your keyboard, select the knife. And I'm going to kind of make it look like the character is winding back. So I'm just going to give it a little more straight here and then kind of make him turn this way. And also move the arm up as if he's actually kind of winding back, but not too high to where it looks weird. So right about here, maybe it kind of even leaves the view a little bit. Just kind of set it to where you like it. Now we're going to again move two dashes. And then actually I'm going to go the other way now. I'm going to select the knife first, then hold control, select the right arm. Now we're going to click rotate and then boom, just kind of drag it forward kind of make it a little more this way and then i'm also gonna move the arm forward here so it's kind of back in the view and i'm also gonna start giving the knife a little bit of a rotate so i'm just gonna kind of move it like this now we're gonna move the two little dashes again and then we're going to move the knife here. Then we're going to actually take this, drag it instead of two, just one, and then go here and then do it again since this turn has to be really quick. And also kind of move it a little bit forward here. Also, one thing to consider. You do want to keep the knife kind of in the middle. You can kind of use the floor here to see where the middle of your character's face is. So I would say it's right about these two lines. So make sure the knife is flying in this direction. So we're going to move two dashes and then we're going to try and again, put the knife in the middle kind of here. And then I want to rotate it so that it's as straight as possible because it's going to be flying, right? So as you can remember, the knife was turning this way. So I'm going to complete its turn and try my best to have it face forward for us. So kind of rotate it here, a little bit here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but to make sure it looks good. And now move it into the middle, right about there. And then just launch it kind of forward a little bit. Basically, what you're doing here is... Actually, wait. Remember this frame I put here by accident? Take it, put it here. Take this here and here. Basically, you're just having the knife rotate, as you can see. Make sure it follows a pattern. 
like this, like this, like this. As you can see, it's flying out. And now move another two dashes. And then literally just take it, launch it forward. And then do consider however far you want it to actually go. You could set it unlimited, but that wouldn't be too realistic. So I like to kind of do it. I don't know, right about there. You do want the knife to be visible, kind of, so. I do think this is actually far enough, but it is up to you. I'll actually make it just a tiny bit closer. Okay, that's good. So, let's kind of test out the animation. As you can see, character kind of winds back and throws but it's really quick so i'm gonna select the top ones take this and i'm gonna make the whole thing like 0.57 so half a second right play this let's just 0.6 maybe and then let's see how the knife looks here There's a little stop right here. So let's get rid of that. So right here's where the stop is. So to fix this, it's pretty easy. Instead of it staying in the hand here, I'm gonna just select the knife. And in this frame, I'm gonna already start moving it forward. And then this actually Let's just get rid of this frame, actually. Let's quickly take this and let's delete it. Since it doesn't really add any value, let's just launch it more here. Actually set this, this one to one. And then take this one here. Let's see what that looks like. That's pretty good. And the whole thing is kind of short, so I'm just going to make it slightly longer. Half a second. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's just check it out from kind of the player's view. That is perfect, even though it's kind of far. Okay. We're done with this. Now, you do have to consider that we do have to have the knife return to the hand. So, I'm going to move just one dash. First of all, go to the very first frame. Click Copy Selected. Move one here. And then just Control v to paste it in. Basically, what happens now, the knife will... Immediate, almost immediately return to the hand. So we have a full loop. Now we're going to click the little three dots, click um, Publish to Roblox. Don't change anything here, click Save. Click this little icon to copy the ID, or you can copy it right here. Close, close the animation since you finished it. Now go to Replicated Storage, Modules, Throwing Knife Settings. And now where you see fire anim, this is actually the animation ID. So take that and then just delete it and paste your new one in. And now let's go ahead and test it out. So click play. As you can see, it, we're in and then we click the shoot button on your mouse and then the knife will fly out. And it already has preset damage system. So let's quickly go to Rig Builder, select a block rig, just to test out how well it works. You do have to think about how far the knife will work. So as you can see right here, I hit him, he died. You can actually edit this by going into throwing knife server code. Right here, you have weight, which is 
um, how long the damage window is open. So let's quickly show you how this system works. If you turn off the transparency and play, what happens when you throw the knife, there's basically this red cube that flies forward for every time you do a hit. So as you can see, this is the actual knife. So not the view model, but the red is the killing point. So if you, for example, go here and the red that's still in distance, but if we replay this and get too far from the character and he doesn't touch the red, it won't damage him. As well as if you miss him by even just a little bit, it will not damage the guy. So to edit this, you have a couple of things. You have the speed, so you can have it fly faster. So for example, I'm going to set this to 30 and then our animation that we made was only about a half a second long. So let's also change this to right about half a second, so 0.5. And then you also have your bullet size, which is the knife size. Basically, 5 is being 5 studs long. Now, when you play this, as you can see, it will fly a lot faster, but last a little bit less. So now if you just hit him. As you can see, he just dies. So that's basically it. If you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe. If you have any video ideas, comment them down below. If you want to see more tutorials like this, go ahead and let me know. If you have any problems or concerns, you can ask in the comments down below or in the Discord server. And see you in the next one.